Today, let's unravel a mystery that has left One Piece fans speculating for years. Shanks' hidden connection to the Celestial Dragons. We all know Shanks as the laid-back, red-haired Yonko who entrusted Luffy with his iconic straw hat. But there's a lot more to Shanks than meets the eye. One of the most shocking moments involving him happens in the Reverie arc, when Shanks is seen meeting with the Gorose, the five elders who govern the world government in Mary Joise, a place only the highest authorities can enter. This unexpected meeting raises many questions. How does a pirate, even one as powerful as Shanks, get access to the most guarded sanctuary in the world? Some fans speculate that Shanks might have ties to the Celestial Dragons, possibly even being one himself. This would explain the level of respect the Gorose show him, treating him not as a criminal, but as someone worthy of their attention. This theory becomes even more plausible considering Shanks' calm demeanor and non-confrontational style, which contrasts with the aggressive nature of most pirates. Shanks is often regarded regarded as a peacekeeper, choosing diplomacy over violence. His relationship with the world government could play a crucial role in the unfolding events as the final saga approaches. Could Shanks be the key to the balance between pirates and the government? As we uncover more about his past, Shanks might just become one of the most pivotal characters in the entire series.